Alex Ekoemi Federal University in Dufo Alike, Ebony State, was among the nine tertiary institutions established by the Dr. Goodluck Jonathan administration in 2011. With core mandates of teaching, learning, and community service, Aifunai, as it is popularly called, has continued to blaze the trail in the Nigerian educational system. This year's convocation is tagged a special convocation where only three candidates were awarded honorary doctorate degrees without graduates of the first degrees due to the disruption of the academic calendar by the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the awardees for honorary doctorate degree in this year's special convocation is Sir Michael Chidiberi Okoruafo, popularly known as Abre Links. A man who has distinguished himself through a dint of hard work to get to where he is today. In the legendary words of William Shakespeare, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrown upon themselves. This could be likened to the rare Nigerian Michael Chideberi Okurafo, who took early to entrepreneurship. University convocation is sacred in the ivory tower. Hence, speeches were made by the top echelon of the academia, especially the vice chancellor, Professor Chinedun Nwajiuba. Many dignitaries graced the occasion, among whom are Honorable Chukwu Emeka Nwajiuba, Minister of State Education, who represented the visitor of the university, President Muhammad Buhari. Governor of Enugu State, Ifai Nguayi, former Governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, Deputy Governor of Eboye State, Barrister Kiliji Igwe, among others. May I also felicitate with our honorary graduates. Today's event is a recognition of your immeasurable contributions to the advancement of society in your respective capacities. It is also a call of further service to God and humanity. Permit me at this juncture to specifically appreciate the Vice Chancellor, Professor Chinedu Wajiba, and his team for their irrevocable commitment to excellence and integrity in all the activities of the university. Let me turn my attention and last comments to the Honorary Reverends as a former program part of this wonderful institution. This wonderful experiment called AE Funai following the special event of today. I send my warm felicitation and congratulations from my council to you and members of your family for this very well deserved recognition. As you come on board as our special ambassadors, I have implicit confidence in God that you will continue to perform excellently in your different spheres of life and thereby remain a beacon to our youth who are desperately in need of persons of character to look up to. Character in entrepreneurship is the theme of this season. And that is also what we have listened to today. Because we need to raise models, genuine models and heroes for the younger generations to come in. And that is what we have found in Chief Bagnos, in Jinonwebu, and Salkorafo. I have sought neither popularity nor have been driven by applause. Rather, as Chino Achebe asserts, every generation must recognize and embrace the task it is peculiarly designed by history and by providence to perform. A view similar to Franz Fanon's admonition that every generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission, fulfill it, or fail it. I'm no more the vice chancellor of uh, what is the name of that university they said I'm going to take you to? 
I'm not the vice chancellor of the university that has been recognition across the length and breadth of this country. The versatile businessman, a successful entrepreneur. Here comes the man of the moment for the conferment of the prestigious doctorate degree in business administration, honoris causa. We deem it fit and proper to honor you, Sir Chidi Ebere, Akora, for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration, honoris causa. In the testimony we are of, we have caused our signatures and common seal of the university to be affixed to the year two. This is the day of December, year 2020. The ceremony was not without a cultural display. <laughs> Describing Sir Dr. Chidiabere Okora for as humble, focused, credible, and a hard-working young man, friends and well-wishers commended the management and the staff of Alex Ekwemi Federal University for the well-deserved honor on this philanthropist. I know Sir Chidiabere very well. I know how he started. Before he became a major marketer, he rented a filling station for the petrol business when he start, when he was about to begin. And integrity and honesty saw him through. That today he is a major independent market and I have a strong feeling that this is just a starting point. That he is a good man and that is the general conception, that's the general belief of everybody who, who has transacted with him in one way or the other. He is a very passionate person, a godly man, a man who takes delight in helping people. That's the truth of the matter. He has contributed so much in developing humanity in helping human beings. He's a man, as I told you earlier, who would not be there and somebody would be suffering. And it's a thing he can conveniently do. He would do it. He wouldn't want to wait to be called. He has contributed both in the community, both to individuals, both in the church, both every, that's everywhere. Except he doesn't see any problem he can solve. If he sees it, he will solve it even to his own detriment. Even where it will mean denying himself whatever he's supposed to have. He will go and help to make sure that there's laughter in the mouth of people. That has been his mission. Sir Dr. Chidebero Kurafo, as he's been conferred with the honorary degree today, has been a wonderful person. Someone whose humility is, is unparalleled, I must say. And he has taken that to the business space and has made, made himself available to all. He's a philanthropist by excellence. The story of this entrepreneur stands out as one in which wealth and character are compatible. Dr. Michael Chidiabere Okurafo holds a bachelor's degree in government and public administration from Abia State University, Uturu, married to Lady Stella Okurafo and blessed with children. 
This distinguished Nigerian has expanded his business into the downstream sector of the petroleum industry with his company, Ebere Links Petroleum, which has become a reference name in the oil and gas sector. He has also established many other successful businesses, employing scores of persons across sectors of the economy. You get more than 100 people under his employment. Go to Munumu, his hometown. His imprint is there. Come to the church, both in the days of Okigwe South and in the days of Ebu. His footmark is there. So, and he is such a positive influence to the younger generation. A love of education, Sir Dr. Michael Okurafo said this gesture by the university will spur him to do more. It pays to be upright. It pays to be humble. It pays to be truthful. And all geared to the fear of God. It shows that probably as you're moving, people are watching you. The whole world is watching. I didn't even know that people are watching. So today, it shows that people are probably what people are watching and they are seeing what you're doing. So I want to encourage anyone, if you're doing it, continue the good work. It may look as if nobody is seeing what you're doing. The people are seeing, and God is heaven is equally taking record. I love education a lot. And um, I'm not a loud person. And as I speak to you, I have people that are in universities that I'm training as I speak to you today. It's not something I make a noise about. I love education. And it will encourage me to even do more. I will do more. I don't want to... I don't want to go for that. I will do more. Incidentally, it was a double celebration for Sir Dr. Okurafo. That day marks his birthday. The choir was there to add color. <laughs> the cultural troupe was not left out from the occasion. 